Hello, everyone. I'm sorry it took so long to come back. <laughs> okay, so you may some you may notice some new things going on. Uh, we have a new layout. It, it's not the best, but it's just simple things in life. However, I do have one more thing I would like to show you. God, I sound like a Nintendo Direct. Oh yeah, uh, we're playing Blaster Master. I should state that. Uh, let me actually turn my switch on. I thought it was on. It might have fell asleep. Yep, there we go. So, uh, I I've been playing a lot of shit, if you couldn't tell. Um, I, I recently got a hold of um, Tori 3D, which is surprisingly really good. Uh, Scott Pilgrim, the game, and Skyward Sword. I'm having a lot of fun with Skyward Sword. Like, I played it years ago, and I liked it then, and I like it, I think, even more now. A few things in the HD version do kind of, uh, they do kind of baffle me, not gonna lie. But this isn't about that. Uh, we're playing Blaster Master today. Where is it? It's down... It's right here. But before we get into that, let me unveil a new asset. It's probably going to take a while, because, um, I don't know for a fact. Um, let me actually, hang on, I gotta go to my phone real fast and check the stream there. Because I need to make sure that my resolution's right. I just need to make sure that everything's not fucked. Okay, it's it's as about as right as it could be. Um, I could do something about it being a little blurry. So let me let me fix that because that's probably gonna annoy some people. I changed you to uh, I'm sus. Up, oh, we're uh, we're getting an encoding error. Oops. Okay, so that's, we can fix that. So, last night, okay, um, yeah, let me, let me change that back to what it was on before. Sorry about that. Uh, we're gonna have to keep it on bilinear, because I forgot that my... I forgot my capture card likes to be weird, or my computer likes to be weird. So I've been gone for like a good while. Uh, part of it is because of this. Whom's did this? That's right, new model. New assets. Let me let me fix that. Oh god. I'm everywhere now. Yeah, no, um, this, this was drawn up last night. <laughs> so, I want to thank, uh, my wonderful mod and girlfriend, Emma Pond, for helping me out with this. She cleaned up the line art, colored, and shaded it, all in the span of three hours. At least I think it took three hours. So, bless her for helping me with that. But, uh, let me explain where I was for vacation before we start the game. So, I went on vacation to the beach. I had a good time. Uh, we didn't go out to the, the beach part very often. Because it was, like, really stormy and weathery. It was really stormy weather. It wasn't very fun. It, the room was also very cold. And I didn't bring a jacket with me. 
and so I had like a little cold for a while when I got back. I, I didn't get boovid, so that's good. Uh, none of the people I was with got it, which is good. But yeah, no. Um, streams were supposed to start back on August 10th. <laughs> it is currently the 19th. I just have not been feeling good. And like, I, I've gotten barely any sleep uh, the past few the past few weeks. Like, I've had trouble getting sleep. Uh, I slept pretty decent last night. I I did go to bed at like ten thirty or something. Like I went bed I went to bed at past eleven a.m. and I woke up at four thirty. <laughs> so my voice is still a little tired. That's the wrong profile. We're doing this on the stream profile. So, yeah, you know the usual business. If the game is too loud, let me know. If I'm too loud, let me know. If volume settings need to be adjusted, please let me know. In the near future, on planet Earth, many kinds of creatures once coexisted on this ver ver verdant planet. But after countless wars and untold environmental destruction, the planet plunged into an ice age. Humanity was left with no choice but to migrate in mass underground. When the Ice Age finally came to an end, the humans began developing methods while they were living underground to one day restore their planet to the lush green landscape it once was. During this time, a large mysterious comet fell to Earth. However, the progress of restoring their lost ecosystem was coming along well, and humanity was eventually able to live on the surface again. Several hundred years have passed since then. Enter a young man named Jason Frudnick, known for being a genius in the field of robotic engineering. One day, he came across a creature he had never seen before. No records of this creature existed. With his interest in the mysterious creature peaked, Jason named it Fred and began to observe it closely. But after some time had passed, Fred escaped. Jason gave chase and he observed Fred jumped into a mysterious hole that appeared seemingly out of nowhere. He was rather astonished by the phenomenon he witnessed, but Jason followed Fred down the same hole. He eventually found himself in a cave deep underground. That's where he discovered a large vehicle. Almost as if the vehicle... Almost as if this vehicle with the name Sophia III was inviting him to come in. The door in the cockpit opened up. In order to bring Fred back, Jason hopped into Sophia Third and set out on his adventure. Little did he know, this strange phenomena were only just getting started. Welcome to Blaster Master Zero. This is a game that is sort of a soft reboot slash reboot of the original Blaster Master, or, um... I actually forgot what the uh, original name was. But it's an old game series made by Sunsoft a long time ago, back in the 80s, I want to say? Like, it was like early 80s, late 80s. Uh, it was like an old NES game. This is sort of a retelling, I guess. And uh, since the, the third game had came out recently, and it's the end of the Jason era, as the advertisements had put it, I thought it'd be fun to start Blaster Master Zero. I have not yet played Blaster Master 2, Zero 2, or 3, so don't ask me if I know anything. 
Uh, please abide by my blind playthrough, no spoilers or back seating unless asked rule policy thing. However, I will allow one person to backseat me, and that is my resident mod, Table Flipper. However, I don't think he's here at the moment. Uh, he's currently having, like, PC troubles, and by PC troubles, I mean he's currently without a PC. So I don't know if he'll be here to help out. Though, I have a feeling I know the game a decent amount to not need his help. But the next time I do talk to him, I'll, I'll like, ask him, like, stuff. Like, things that I need to look out for. So, options. I need to change my controls. Well, we need to look at the controls. So we got B to jump, A to shoot, or Y to shoot, excuse me. A is my sub weapon. X is enter the tank. Switch weapons with L. Change angle with R. Wall ride with ZL or ZR. Or Zell and Zar if you're like me. We are going to type A. Because it's weird how A and B are swapped on the screens. But yeah, no. Uh, I was gone for a good while. Uh, last Tuesday, I would have streamed. However, I got barely any sleep, and I ended up sleeping the whole day, so apologies for that. I just did not feel good. Uh, my neighbor also... I'm not saying that I have it, but my neighbor recently uh, contracted Bovid. So... Uh, there is a chance I could catch it, but I'm very careful about the sort of thing. Like, I don't like getting sick. Because when I get sick, I don't get sick sick, I'm on the verge of death, this is the end of me kind of sick. I just get, like, mildly inconvenienced kind of sick. Like, because as a, as a voice actor, getting sick is, like, the worst thing ever. But yeah, uh, this game does have multiplayer. But uh, I have no way of doing the multiplayer at the moment. Yeah, if you've played the NES version, this game may be familiar to you already. Is this one of the underground forests that were made during the last Ice Age? Hundreds of years have passed, but the ecosystem is alive and well. It would seem that the preservation system is still functioning somehow. Uh, yeah, spoiler alert, still can't read. <laughs> Better still keep my guard up. Never know what could still be around here. So yeah, we can't go up. Uh, let me know if my volume is good. So yeah, this is a side-scrolling shoot-em-up. Uh, it's also kind of a Metroidvania. So... Yeah. So we control Sophia the Third. Uh, the first time I had ever played anything similar to Blaster Master, and this is gonna tell you how old I am. <laughs> um, does anyone remember the old Flash game on ExplodingRabbit.com called uh, Super Mario Crossover? If anyone knows that game, ow, then um, you would know that um, it wasn't Jason, it was uh, the original protagonist from the NES game. He, um,. You could play as Sophia the Third, or the, the tank. Oh yeah, we got uh, we got missiles. So yeah, our our sub weapon is missiles. Uh, I do want to note that not everything I can tell you is going to be 100% accurate. So just a heads up. Fred signal is definitely being transmitted from the forest area. Receiver was being displayed on the monitor. I guess I'm pretty lucky that Sophia has a functionality like this. With the receiver, I'm able to get a general area idea where Fred is. I can't but I can't help but wonder how Sophia can track his signal. Then again, I don't really want to know anything in this machine. I don't really know how anything in this machine works yet. All right, I want to go back. Yeah, so pressing X, we can leave the tank. 
though I would not recommend that. Uh, speaking of recommendations, if you would like to see an in-depth walkthrough talking about lore and the differences between each Blaster Master game, like between the original and Blaster Master Zero, I would highly recommend uh, watching Proton John's Let's Play of the game. Oh, yeah, so there is a ladder trick later in the game that you'll have to learn. So you see how this ladder is long? So you can climb down, right? You need to practice being able to grab onto that. Because, oh boy. Uh, it will come back to bite you in the ass later. So, Blaster Master Zero has top-down shooting segments. The original also has them. So you can strafe with R. I recommend doing that. You can get these little capsules little pink capsules they will upgrade your guns there is a gun that you can get that is pretty broken I'm gonna try my best to keep as many gun upgrades as I can because having gun upgrades is really helpful map one an area of the a map of the forest area press R on the weapon select screen to view so yeah, in typical Metroidvania fashion, we got a map. Normally in top-down sections like this, you have to go get a map or an item to progress further. Now if you get hit, you will lose your gun upgrades, so it's not really recommended that you take too much damage. However, I am a very sloppy player, so uh, that's bound to happen more than once. Do not be surprised if I die in the stupidest of ways possible. But, uh, so, Jason has fall damage. Sophia does not. Keep that in mind. It'll... It'll save your life knowing this knowledge. You cannot take Sophia into these top-down areas. That would be kind of broken. But it would be kind of cool, though. Not gonna lie. So, yeah. Inti Creates are the developers of this game. You may know them more famously for the Mega Man Zero series, uh, Azure Striker Gunvolt, uh, Dragon Mark for Death. Those, they've been in the limelight a lot. And I got hit, so my gun went back to the short shot. Gun upgrades in this game, I can best describe them as just combat enhancers, which, I mean, yeah, makes sense. Uh, you do have grenades. Grenades are very fucking helpful. Oh, and uh, for those joining me for the first time in this stream, uh, please note that I swear a lot. So if that bothers you, I'm very sorry. There's really nothing I can do about that on the fly. But if you're not put off by it, then I welcome you. So yeah, uh, I make it a habit of clearing these areas out. Using the analog stick while you're strafing is actually a really good idea. I would recommend it. I would recommend using the D-pad more for movement, and then only when you're strafing, switch to the analog stick. So yeah, this game is on the Switch, PC, I think it's on Xbox, it's on PS4, I think it's on Vita, it's on 3DS. It's on practically everything except the Wii U. Actually, I think it's on Wii U also, I don't know. Uh, again, if you want a, an in-depth, like, deep dive into this game and, like, literally every nook and cranny about it, Proton John's playthrough. Or if you want to see somebody good at the game, <laughs> uh, once again, my friend Table. Motherfucker. I thought I could go through that. There, I do know that there is an item that we can get later on in the game that lets us keep our guns after getting an extra hit. I think this is just a weapon restock room. Yeah. That's all this was. 
I think you can enter... Cer no, you can't. I thought you could enter certain rooms and get your... Uh... Hang on. Oh, I'm just now noticing this now. Um, for gathers, thank you for the follow. I don't know... It doesn't show when you followed. I'm just now noticing you. Sorry about that. I, I didn't hear an alert. Actually, do I have alerts on? I should refresh that. Yeah, no. Uh, to those that are... Oh, God damn it. To those that are in chat, just vibing. Welcome. I appreciate you being here. And I hope you enjoy your time here. I hope I can make some good background noise for you. Uh, I, I did actually get... um. Oh, yeah. We can't do anything about that dude yet. But um, I did get an email from, like, a anonymous viewer. Like, uh, I didn't actually... I didn't exactly know who they were. Like, their name didn't look familiar to me. But, um... Oh, yeah. Sophia has terrible mobility in water. So, I would avoid going in there at all costs. But, um... This person had emailed me saying, like... Hey, I really liked your, uh... I really liked your art streams. They're, like, really good. And chill. Like, good background noise. And I'm just like... Aw. Like, that made me happy. It's not all the time where I get messages like that. In fact, I almost I almost never get messages like that actually. Um, I'm going to I'm going to go down here with Jason cuz it'll be faster. So yeah, we got little uh we got little metroids. So yeah, Jason can destroy those little mine things a lot easier. Yes, that does that's what those are. Um there is a Yeah, I want to turn receiver on actually. That, that's always turned off by default. I don't know why. But yeah, see, Jason has better mobility in the water. So it's just overall better to explore with him. However, you are more likely to die without Sophia. Given that Jason is kind of squishy. However, comma, you do get um, health upgrades every so often. I believe there are... I believe this area had one? No, no it didn't. I'm remembering a different area. So, uh, I played up until area 4. So I'm kind of I'm kind of blind. Or going in semi-blind. I've never seen the ending. I, I will say that. Uh, even though... No, I don't remember the ending. Even though I did see the entirety of John's LP. Uh, namely because this was during a time where I just wasn't getting enough sleep. And so I kept sleeping during every video. Like, sometimes I'll just curl up at my desk. Like, I'll... Like, the pillow I'm sitting on right now, actually is a pillow that I, I sleep with sometimes when I'm just at my desk. Because, like, my, ch my chair has no support on my back at all. Or, like, anywhere for that matter. I, I need to get a new chair. It would just be nice to have. But uh, I don't think I can fit a new chair in my room at the current moment. Uh, not unless I remove my couch, which I barely use. So yeah, this is just a weapon restock room. However, I'm good. I'm bad at keeping my weapons. So yeah, I'm sorry if this is boring, but.
My voice still hasn't warmed up, also. I, I should stress that. Fucking hell. There's like nothing in these rocks. <laughs> of course I say that, and now there's shit in the rocks. Yeah, don't don't pull a me and just use all your grenades on these because you'll, you'll never know when a mini boss will just show up. Uh thankfully you do get more shit. Can I get a gun upgrade, please? God. My face is like really itchy today. It also doesn't help that it's really hot. Finally, a gun upgrade. Now I can shoot farther. I'm probably gonna lose it again. So yeah, um, even though this gun is just like a long shot, <laughs> long shot, that's funny. It um, it does actually do more damage slightly. Uh, there are achievements that you can do. I I think the Switch version has achievements. I I don't know, but um, you can. There's like a challenge thing that you can do. Okay, normally these save points mean that there is a boss. You gonna give me a gun upgrade? Yes, you are. Uh, which one does this give me? Oh, this gives me the piercing shot. So, this means there's usually a boss. Layer of a thousand VOs. Wait. Vio, why are you attacking me? <laughs> Another gun upgrade. We got the shotgun. Ooh. So we got the machine gun. Fuck. We had the machine gun. That's reflect. Uh, that's striker. And that's the flamethrower. Flameformer. To be a Cheems linguist, you have to have not graduated middle school. And here's the beam that we'll probably be using the most. Wave beam. Actually, let me go to Striker. Because Striker's really good. Uh, one of my favorite things that John did for his LP is that, um... He never got the name for Striker right. Like, he always called it something different. Striker, I believe, is a nod to Azure Striker. At least I, ho I hope it is, because honestly... I wouldn't put it past Inti Creates. Oh, that's dirty. Yeah, so Striker will just fucking melt everything. Thunderbreaker, a sub weapon that shoots lightning directly beneath Sophia. Hmm. Looks like this chip can restore one of Sophia's functions. Data analyzed in that chip is being displayed inside my helmet. I get the feeling that there is more to these chips like this found out here. It makes me wonder just who in the world made all this tech. Man, I'd love to dig into all this, but I gotta focus on finding Fred. So yeah, you will be teleported after, after a boss and you get an upgrade. You will be teleported out of the little top-down area. When you're just when you're in your 2D side scrolling sections, you will not lose your weapons when taking damage. Thank fucking god that is a thing because if it wasn't, oh boy, I would be I'd be upset. <laughs> I I'd be I'd be upset, definitely. So, yeah, it is recommended that you come down here. 
Uh, there is, however, a save point, like, well over here that I missed. Like, I, I purposely missed it, I guess you could say. But you need Jason to get over to it. So, there's these sections. They kind of suck. There's, like, these little crawling sections. So, you can use these little save points to call Sophia over. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, I told you I would die in a stupid way. This is, that's just the first of many stupid deaths. Be very mindful of those bombs. But yeah, uh, there's a lot of correlation, or a lot of comparisons to uh, Big the Cat and Jason. Jason is essentially just a human Big the Cat, and that is probably the most cursed thing I've ever said. Don't act surprised, you want to believe it too. Uh, there is a ladder. I actually don't know if I should be here yet. But hey, only one way to find out. Let me go back to Striker. Fuck. Well, luckily for me, Striker absolutely just melts everything it touches. Uh, do not be surprised if, like, I. <laughs> do not be surprised if I stick with Striker. But for clearing all these rocks away, Flameformer works too. And yes, I will be using the Cheem's equivalent of Flamethrower. Uh, there is Machine Gun. However, the more you shoot it, the more your shots spread. Fuck. Though there's also the shotgun. Or as I like to call it, kablooey. Rapid fire is good when you're up close and personal. Yeah, don't be don't be careless like me. Fucking hell. Uh, you can use, uh, there is a skill called Reflect. Oh yeah, so the good thing about Wave, it goes through walls. And it absolutely just wrecks shop. So, like, I, I do want to give the other guns a chance. It's just kind of hard to do that. Oh, yeah, so these guys are normal enemies now. Uh, the shot, uh, it'll do the most damage in the intertwining spot. Some enemies are actually weak to wave. Like, some enemies have a weakness to a specific weapon. And, uh, I don't know what those are for a fact. So, um, this is permission. Anyone in chat? If I come up to a boss, you are allowed to tell me the weapon weakness. Because I, honest to God, don't remember. I will say, however, Wave is the most, uh, notorious one. What in the hell is that? Some giant mutant? Damn it. I guess I gotta do this. Grenades and wave spam. Mother brain. 
That's right, Mother Brain from Metroid. Fucking hell. Ah, fucking hell. Well, okay, that worked way too well. <laughs> we lost a shit ton of our weapons, but, um... I was adjusting something. I had a little, I have a little rupee lamp that sits on my TV, and it was blocking the health bar. Hypershot. This powers up Sophia's main weapon. You can now defeat some enemies that you previously couldn't. This will let us get past that door that was blocking us earlier. So yeah, it was good to come down here. But yeah, um, I'm very reckless when it comes to playing games like this. So do not be surprised if um, I end up almost dying or dying a lot. I've already said that several times. <laughs> uh, I, I tend to repeat myself a lot. It's kind of a it's kind of a habit. I think getting back into the Sophia will fully heal you. Looks like Fred's signal isn't coming from the forest area anymore. Let's see. Looks like it's coming from some kind of residential area. That is actually pretty close by. Okay, let's get this show on the road. So to get to the residential area, so yeah, you may notice our shot is bigger and sounds different probably. We now do more damage with our main shot. As the thing said. Get out of here, bitch. Actually, yeah. No, we didn't, um... So... Our new ability... Creates a lightning strike. In the water... This... Fucks up most enemies that are giving you shit. In the residential area, this... Power... Will be so damn helpful. Like, it's not even funny how helpful this will be. Like, you have no idea. So yeah. This dude? No longer an issue. We could just keep going. So yeah, we do, we do have some things that we have not done yet. Uh, some things that I don't think we can take care of. Actually, what am I saying? Uh, no, there is one thing we can take care of, I think. Just depends if I can actually get the fuck up there. <laughs> nah. Okay, it looks like I can't. Bummer. I can't get you yet. So yeah, those mines annoy me. Their beeping uh, makes me feel uneasy. So yeah, area two. We made it to area two pretty quickly. So this is the residential area. This place sure has seen better days. Looks like there's mutants here. Gotta make my way through carefully. The signal source is displayed on my monitor. Let's see where it leads. So, by default, the uh, the tracker will be turned on here. So yeah, these little dudes are annoying. So I just like using the, uh, the lightning shot. So yeah, Fred's signal is apparently really close by. Fuck that caterpillar in particular. Oh yeah, I should mention, the green drops are your health, the blue drops is your SP. Or your special. But you you probably already knew that. That's probably something I didn't need to explain. 
Sometimes I'll explain things that the player probably already knows. It's a guilty habit. Oh, Fred's really close. There is, however, one area that I want to check out. No, wait. I think sometimes the game will mislead you. Oh yeah, he's here. So these turrets... I hate them. They annoy me to no end. However, Machine Gun seems to be making decent work of them, so that's good. Yeah, if I had to choose a favorite weapon, though, I would say that it's, um... I would say it's probably the Machine Gun or, uh, Wave. But Wave in the sequel is apparently nerfed to hell and back. Like, I don't know how much nerfed it is. But it's pretty nerfed. Map 2. So now we just gotta go. So yeah, this is just like a... I believe this is a weapon restock room. There we go. Oh yeah, if you hold L, you can just select your sub and your main shot at any time. Instead of just cycling through. So I'm gonna go to Striker. Because I like Striker. Striker probably is my favorite, if, if I had to take a serious guess. Or just make a serious, like, choice. Hmm, that's weird. Signal coming from here is gone. Nothing nothing to do except head back to the where the other signal's coming from. Oh yeah? So now that we have the map, big area. We've got it shows that we have one power up from the looks of it in one of those stations. There's a save point right above us. Uh, and there's three other bosses. One of those is story related. And I don't remember which one it is. I'm stuck. Uh, get ready for things like that to happen. Because uh, this it happens a lot in this game, where you'll just you'll just eat shit from like random enemies. So I want to go up because I do believe the save point. Yeah, we can't go this way yet. Try all we might, we cannot. Not until we have a another type of shot. Not until our shot is upgraded further, I should say. However, we can take the long way around. Now, I do believe that this is story related. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's bound to happen a lot. How long have we been live? We've been live for about an hour, or almost an hour. Um. Oh yeah. So, for those who are new here, uh, that are just coming in, uh, I do tend to take breaks at least after an hour or so. So at least every hour and 30 minutes, I'm actually going to go the other way. 
So yeah, like I tr I try like every hour to take a break, so that way I don't like get too tired, too burnt out, too early. And, and then sometimes my breaks will last literally forever. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I I was literally stuck. God damn it. Those caterpillar enemies can go fuck off. I I hate them. <laughs> No, go. Go back up. Revenge. So yeah. Uh, actually, yeah, no. I do have to go this way. So yeah, at the one hour mark... I'll take maybe a 20 minute break. I'll make something to eat because I haven't eaten yet. Because the moment I woke up, I started setting up for stream. But, um. Yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. Other than I hope you guys are just. Enjoying your time here. These these caterpillars need to fuck off. Don't worry. We will get ways to deal with them later. Switch back to machine, because machine gun actually breaks through these a lot better. I don't know if this is the area that I should be yet. So yeah, you're supposed to use your piercing shot on them. But honestly, I don't like it. Hello, Maple. Okay, yep, there is a boss. And just in time, we got wave. I do believe this is story related. Bibi Legion. How's the stream? That's going all right. Wait, no, I don't think this is story related. Because there would have been a bigger boss at play. Actually, Striker would be more entertaining. Never underestimate Striker. It is so fucking good. <laughs> Homing Missile. Finally! We can deal with those stupid caterpillar dudes that are just fucking us over now. Hmm, that's weird. Signal coming from here is gone. Nothing to do except head back to where this other signal's coming from. And as if to answer my prayers. 
We can now fuck these dudes up royally before they can even fuck us over. So yeah, uh, you could send a shit ton of these missiles, but it eats up like a crap ton of special. However, it goes through walls, it tracks the nearest enemy, it mostly deals with them in one hit, which is great. However, uh, it doesn't always do that. I would not recommend using it on bosses. <laughs> using it on bosses typically is a bad idea. Let me... Yeah, nice try. So, I believe the next... There's one square up there that's gonna bother me. But there's nothing I can do about it. Health! Okay. I knew I came down here for a reason. Actually, there is a reason I came down here. Special? Alright. I... I actually had one of my friends think that this was like a really advanced ROM hack. And it, it made me laugh. It made me laugh a good bit. But yeah, let's uh, switch over to wave and fuck everything up. God, this... It makes me so sad to hear that they nerfed it in the sequel. Yeah, this... Is this just a weapon restock room? Yeah, no, that's... It's just a weapon restock room. Alright. Hey, the music in this game is really good. Alright, Fred is not there. God, Big the Cat has better luck finding Froggy than Jason finding Fred. Truer words have never been spoken. Deep down, y'all know I'm right. <laughs> That's the sad thing. Okay. Well, like it or not, I can't go that way. Yeah, I can't go anywhere here. Oh yeah, you do have to backtrack a lot, like, later in the game. And not- okay, I say a lot, but not really. It's not by, like, a large margin. Actually, can I go down this way? No, I can't. Yeah, it's back up the way you came. Probably shouldn't say that joke. Right, can't jump up that way. Got mad hops for a tank. Like, imagine Sophia the Third in, like, World of Tanks or some shit. That'd be fucking hilarious. That would actually make me be interested in playing that game. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying World of Tanks is a bad game. I'm just saying that it's not as interesting to me. But if it had Sophia the Third in it, I'd probably be more interested. <laughs> 
because it's such a funny concept. And here's the thing, it wouldn't be overpowered either, because it's it's just a regular, it's just a high-tech tank. It re that's really all it is. It's just as durable as a regular tank. So yeah, that, uh, the extra square that I didn't get up here. Oh, there's really nothing I can do about that, is there? Son of a bitch. Oh, signal pick back up. We're close to the Frogo's location. Man, fuck them bees. Fred appears to be in one of these. However, it has been an hour. I'm going to take a quick break. We will be back in about 10 to 20 minutes. I'm actually going to set a timer this time. So that I don't forget. So yeah, give me, give me just. Why did I say yeah like that? Give me a second, and I'll. Let's set that to ten minutes. So yeah, I will be back in 10 minutes. See you guys in just a sec.
I have returned with food. I have 13 minutes to eat my food before my timer goes off. So give me a quick second to do that. I hope you enjoyed the music. Sorry it took so long. <laughs> I didn't think my food would take so long to prepare. It is currently uh, storming outside right now. I don't know if you can hear the thunder at all. It's pretty loud. You might have to cut the stream short if it gets too bad outside. I plan to go at least... I planned on streaming for at least four hours. Or at least three. And I've so far spent half an hour eating. <laughs> Very slow eater. There's so many kitten videos on my feed today. I welcome this.
shit. That's fucking cool. Oh shit. Yeah, that definitely picked up on the mic. I, I just saw the waveform go up. We'll be back to gameplay in about four minutes. All right. Back to the back to the game. Yeah, I really hope that thunder doesn't bother anyone. If there is anyone in chat who is afraid of thunder, I deeply apologize. Oh, if you're wondering what I was eating, because usually I say what I was eating, um, I didn't really have anything to make. 
So I just made a, uh, I took a quesadilla. Or a, just a, just a, just, I took a tortilla, essentially. And just put butter and cinnamon on it. And then put it in my little toaster oven for like 10 minutes, which is why I had to reset the timer. Anyway, we back. Let me actually, let me adjust this. All right. I don't know how much longer. I don't know how much longer the stream will be able to go on with uh, with the storm. Oh yeah, you don't want to touch this floor because yeah, it's poison. Or not poison, but it's like acid or some shit. Let's use Striker. God, Striker is so satisfying. How did that not... How did I get away with that? Oh yeah, that just plows through everything, doesn't it? That's kind of the point, actually. No, go back in here. Yeah, I believe this is the story-related one. Kabularva. Wait. Fucking hell. <laughs> Alright, back to Striker. Oh, well, that wasn't Striker. That was Flamethrower. Flameformer. Oh no, this isn't the story related one. Laser shot. A shot that can pierce through terrain. Hold the shoot button to charge it, and then release to fire. Okay, I keep thinking it's the story-related one. Hmm, that's weird. The signal coming from here is gone. Nothing to do except head to this other signal coming from. So yeah, we can now, uh... We can now charge our shot. It's like Mega Man's. Excuse me. Why are you not homing? Oh yeah, that also uh, goes for terrain. Pretty fucking cool. So yeah. Uh wait, can we not? Are you fucking kidding? You're fucking kidding me, mate. Uh 
Oh shit. <sighs> I love it when the game jukes me like that. That was satisfying. Getting closer to Fred. At least I think we are. Yep, we are. Yeah, and I can't do anything about these. Should probably get these pickups. What's this signal now? I don't know why. But the signal seems different from the one I've been following up until now. Now I'm all curious. I think I'll have a go I think I'll go have a look see. Yep, this is the this is the one that I keep thinking it was. It's good to always wait for the poison, or the, the acid, to go by. The moment it starts fading away, you can walk. That's the rule. a waiting game at this point. Is a weapon restock? This whole room is a fucking maze. Oh yeah, the big red things are giant weapon free stocks. I forgot about that. Ow! Bitch.
Are you fucking kidding me? I'm just bad luck tuck today. Even though my name's not Tuck. If it was, I'd be making the rhymes with fuck joke a lot. Which is genuinely not a very funny joke. I can't go that way. Fuck. Motherfucker. I told you, I'm unlucky when it comes to these games. Though that's my own damn fault. That's a big weapon restock. Alright, now I gotta go back up. I can only assume... Wait. Hang on. There's a room up here? Did I not go in this room? Yeah, I guess I didn't. Well, we got Flameformer back. Just waiting on that. I look away for a second. Okay. Yep, yeah, just realized I couldn't walk over that. <laughs> Sometimes my genius scares me. And by genius, I mean, well, whatever rhymes with genius. Clear, clearly the opposite of genius. Okay, there we go. You know what? Yeah, no. Fuck you. I'm just gonna... Right. Forgot they're weak to that. Oh sure, just give me all my weapons back now. That's cool. <sighs> okay. I could have walked along that path this whole time. But nah. Sometimes I like standing around doing nothing.
I'm gonna be honest. The, uh... If the pierce shot fired faster, I'd probably like it more. Wait, is the game volume good? I don't think I asked about that in a while. Fucking hell. Alright, we're not gonna have wave. Because I, I recall this boss being weak to wave. Whoa! That's a huge mutant. The signal's coming from here, too? Guess I'm gonna have to fight. The toxic vermin. Crabulous. I'm guessing it's weak to shotgun. Or piercing shot. Well, that went piss poor. I thought that would have gone better. Cluster shot. This powers up Sophia's main weapon. You can now destroy a certain type of wall. <gasps> What's a person doing here? Hey! I'm here to help! Are you alright? Damn it! Come on, please open your eyes! From the moment I held her in my arms, my blaster rifle began to emit this brilliant light. The light was getting bigger and bigger and totally enveloped us. What the... What's going on? Hmm? What? Thank goodness. You're awake! I... I... You can do it. Let's get you over to Sophia for now. Hang in there. We've met best girl. Man, who is this girl? Seems like the signal came from her. A blaster rifle reacted to her. Somehow. I think this girl and Sophia are connected. Uh... Hmm? Who are you? How did I... Don't worry, everything's okay. When you're feeling up to it, I want to hear your story. Thank you for helping me. Could I ask you your name? Sure. I'm Jason Frodnick, but you can call me Jason. I'm Eve. Got it. Don't mean to rush you, Eve, but there's a lot that I need to ask you. I listened to her story, found out the reason why she's here and learn that she seems to have lost a lot of her memory. On top of that, when it comes to tuning up and doing maintenance on Sophia, her skills blow mine out of the water. It's so strange though. I feel like I remember this sensation. And that's her story. I feel like I have a lot more to learn about her though. Hey, Jason, I finished tuning up Sophia. Thanks, Eve. By the way, now that you're back on your feet, what are you going to do now? Hmm. Well, if it's okay with you, do you think I'll be able to join you? You helped me so much back there, I want to return the favor. If you're using Sophia to find Fred, I think I could really help you out. I'm happy to hear that, but 
there's a chance we're gonna have to fight some mutants. It'll just be as dangerous. No, probably even more dangerous than what happened here. I know, but if you're in danger, I might be able to save you too. That's, uh... She's absolutely right. I'm bound to run into things that I won't be able to do on my own going forward. If it was dangerous for her on her own, then I'm sure it'd be up to just as dangerous for me too. Going together is the way to do it. But I wonder why she's so eager to lend me a hand. I guess that's a no then? In that case, if you leave me... Come on, don't say stuff like that. I, I want you to help me out. Oh, okay. You got it. Leave it to me. Looks like Fred's signal is coming from a different area now. I think it's in the industrial area. Industrial area, huh? Okay. Let's go check on it. One more thing. If you want to talk to me, choose the receiver icon from the subscreen. There's lots of stuff I'd love to talk to you about. So I'm here to chat with you anytime you want to talk. And the receiver is off by default. Again. Let's talk to Eve. Laser shot. With this main weapon, you can hold down the shoot button to charge a shot, then release it to fire. While its attack power may not be higher, it fires a laser that can pierce through walls and enemies. Also, its charge time is short and it consumes no SP, so go ahead and use it to your heart's content. What else you gotta say? Homing missile. With this sub weapon, you can fire a missile that will pursue its target until it makes contact. It's a super useful weapon. But, if you get too trigger happy, you will find your SP gauge depleted in no time flat. So, she'll essentially just tell you things about your main weapon, your sub weapons, maneuverability, I think. Uh, we have nothing for maneuverability yet, so. She'll also just tell you random things. I guess Fred's not in this area. Let's go have a look in another area. That's basically her way of saying, I got nothing more to say to you, buddy. But now that we got the cluster shot, we finally break these rocks. So many shortcuts that we can take now. That is so satisfying. God. The heel of my foot is very itchy. <laughs> it's driving me absolutely nuts. Big special tank. Give me that. Have I been up to that one yet? Yeah, I have. Okay. Yeah, the homing missiles are a lot stronger now. If you notice, it used to take, um... It used to take more shots to kill those bees. But now it doesn't. Hang on, I gotta fix my seat. I really gotta get a new chair.
Yeah, nice try, bud. I might as well get that health regen now that I'm here. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think we can progress further now. Like, in this area. There's a few more things that I want to check out, but I'm not sure if I can actually complete them. Because there's the, the subroom down there. That I want to be able to get to at some point. I wish that you could warp between save points. That'd be really cool. Does Eve have anything else to say? Okay. So, same shit. Oh, fuck. I was not paying attention. I was looking at chat to see if there was anything intriguing being said. So yeah, we can now go in here. I'll take that health. No, go back in there, Jason. You stupid jack wagon. I don't think I can do this part of the area yet. Yeah, no, I definitely can't. I think I'm supposed. Yeah, I'm supposed to go this way, actually. Oh, I could have just... I literally went the long way. I literally took the long way around. That's kind of funny. Jason, it looks like Fred Signal is coming from this vicinity. Is there any way we can get a more specific location? Well, it looks like I can only receive the signal, not trace it. Sorry, this is the best I can do. Hey, it's not your fault. But we'll us have to search for him, the old-fashioned way. Hang on a second. It looks like the systems here are still in operation. And have been so for a while. Let's stay on alert. You never know what might happen. Well, I'd like to say we made some decent progress. Gonna take a quick stretch. Second.
All right. Okay, I was just checking that real fast. Oh yeah, um, I never pointed this out. On my, uh, I, I need to fix it so it looks right. But, um, I do have an art tag. So, if you decide to make art of my, uh, like, any art for me, like, my VTuber persona, specifically, or just anything involving myself, uh, use the hashtag AlexLDoodles. That way I'll see it, and I'll be able to retweet it and share it, and all that good stuff. Now, hang on, I do, I, I do wanna, actually, I do wanna search one thing up real fast. There is a specific thing that I can get, and I don't know if it's in this area or in the previous. Trying to remember what the up. Apologies for the delay. That's for the original Blaster Master. I need the one for the Blaster Master Zero. That's cool and all, IGN, but that doesn't really help me figure out where this thing is. not have a page for collectibles are you fucking kidding me okay i'll just find it on my own so anyone in chat that knows this game at all um 
there is an upgrade that lets you keep your guns when taking damage. Like, it lets you take, like, a few extra hits before the gun upgrade disappears. Is that in this area or the previous area? I'm giving you full-on permission to tell me if I'm right or wrong on that. Because I am pretty sure it is in the previous area. But I also remember it being in this area. Break those? Yeah, I can. We got a little Jason area here. Right, I forgot. <laughs> we lost all of our guns. I I love the music in this area. Yes, give me my long shot. Well, fuck you too. Wave back, yay. Now we're in this business. This was just a yeah, this was just weapon restock. I was about to say, kinda glad I came in here. pathway uh, let's see what Eve has to say about this area actually now that I think about it Jason why are you searching for Fred like this anyway whoops I guess I never really explained it huh it's just my theory but I think that Fred is a type of creature that is supposed to have gone extinct a long time ago I'm no biologist but I think Fred could be the clue to regards of restoration of a lost ecosystem. That's why I need to find him and bring him home safely. I see. So that's why you need to find him sooner rather than later. Finding Sophia, my encounter with mutants, meeting Eve. All of this happened because I crossed paths with Thread. Fred. See, I knew it was going to happen. I called him Thread. I really want to know how Fred, Sophia, and Eve are connected. But I think I'll keep quiet about that for now. C can I just say one thing? Eve is probably my favorite K 
character design in this game. Like, she's so fucking cute. She's got like a... She's got like a little cat motif going on. I don't know why. Like, whenever you get the chance, just uh, look up official art of her. Saw that coming from a mile away. It's fucking dips. In the knickknack paddywhack, give your dog a bone store. <laughs> just someone in my living room just yelled that, and I'm just like, what? I was about to say, where does that open up? It's mighty suspicious how I never got the map yet. This music is so good. Oh, there's weapon restock up there. Time to go back. Oh yeah, I never did ask. How do you guys like the new layout? Is this a lot better? Is this a lot more my style? Oh, I could have just... I could have gone through that little area in the middle, now that I realize it. This is stuff I already had, but it's, it's the necessity. I want to break absolutely everything. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> do you guys want to know what the original plan was for stream? So, um, I mentioned that Tori 3D was going to be the original stream plan, as well as Scott Pilgrim, but then I also considered Skyward Sword. However, um, a game, like, I also considered Donkey Kong Country. Just 
gonna fucking blast him. Flash bomb, a sub weapon that emits a bright light that stops enemies in their tracks. May be useful in dark areas. Oh shit, bump my mic. Well, we found a saving point. I'm honestly getting kind of tired. I know I said I wanted to stream for at least three hours. And that I took a majority of that time, uh, I did take a good amount of time uh, eating. Or snacking, I guess. But, uh, Starting today, streams will be more regular. I will try... I will try to stream more. I just have been busy. Or not busy, I just have been not feeling good. But I've also been busy. But yeah, no. We're gonna go ahead and end. Let me go over to my ending screen. So, yeah, thank you to everyone who came out today. Uh, I didn't see very many people, as usual. The, the, the most I see is usually, usually like three or four. However, um, yeah, no, today was fun. I got to show off my new VTuber design, which is great. I love it so much. I've... I was not vibing with the jacket and the shirt. I, I didn't like how it looked. The hair was fine, but that, it could have used more personality. And so I just went with something that I would actually wear, considering something that's impossible to wear. Plus it's easier for fan art, let's be real here. So yeah, um, if you would like to submit art to me, it's hashtag AlexLDoodles. If you would like to find me anywhere else on the internet to see whenever I go live or post art or post a video, you can follow me at the following places. There's my Twitter. There's my Instagram. There's my main YouTube channel, which is where the VODs go. That's also where my old Let's Play speed draw content is. Um... That channel, I might rebrand it into a VOD channel, because that's essentially just where all my VODs go anyway. Which is weird, because I want to do LPs again, I really do. But I just don't have the resources to do it without things just mucking up. So, yeah, that, that's something I'll think about. Um, there's my, there's my voice acting account on YouTube. That's where, uh, I'll post random shit posts, random demo reels of just different characters. Uh, I recently uploaded a cover of a song. Yeah, weird, me singing. Um, it is the cover of Bakemi Tai, which I titled What an Idiot. Uh, for those that can't read the title of it, uh, if you've seen the title, it's uh, it just translates to I tried to sing what an idiot, because Bakumi Tai literally translates to what an idiot, at least according to Google, according to Google Translate. I cannot say Google really fast, because it sounds like Google. <laughs> but yeah, no, um, so yeah, the original the original plan was gonna be Scott Pilgrim, or Tori 3D, or Skyward Sword, but then I chose not to. Last night, I literally was like, I want to do a Donkey Kong marathon, and I'm starting with Donkey Kong 94. But then I realized that that would have been a bad idea. 
Especially considering how I'm not the best at platformers, which is funny because I grew up on platformers. And then I thought, nah, just Donkey Kong Country plus DK64. Because I had never played DK64. And I've never played the DKC trilogy. It's probably because I was never interested in them as a kid. Uh, but there's also Donkey Kong Country Returns. That's another game that I wanted to play for a long time. I don't know. I'm gonna try and play more stuff, but also finish more stuff. I've only ever finished, like, three games on stream, I think. No, I've only ever finished one game on stream, and that was DMC2. Unfortunate. Uh, I do plan on doing... There is one game that I've been teasing myself streaming for a long time now. So, I always make an excuse for this. But, um, I want to do something special for whenever we, whenever we hit 100 followers. So, recall the time that I lost a bet and I had to play DMC2. The prerequisite of that bet was we had to play our least favorite game of all time. I have three games that share the spot of my least favorite game. Devil May Cry 2 is one of them. The other two are God Hand and X-Blade. And yeah, some of you might be thinking, those watching the VOD, wait, he doesn't like God Hand? That's like a, it's a good game though. It's like, eh, not to me, it's not. It, everything that I dislike about a beat 'em up is that game to a T. That, and I hate the protagonist. <laughs> that, like, actually all the characters in that game fucking suck. And then there's X-Blade. I bought that game for like, four dollars at a at a at like a pawn shop or something never have I been so insulted by a game <laughs> I will just say that but yeah no if we hit a hundred followers by the end of the year I will stream X-Blade because I no longer own God Hand. I gave that shit away in a heartbeat. <laughs> Which is unfortunate considering it's Clover Studios' last game. Uh, I, I see that game as the nail in the coffin for them. But, um, but yeah, no. 100 followers, I'll play Exploit. Which is a tied three way with my least favorite game of all time. We are at 58 followers now. I, I believe we can hit 100 by the end of the year. I believe it. Stream was a lot more stable today, which surprises me because <laughs> normally my stream is just a frame drop nightmare. But today everything looked all right. Uh, I'm gonna have to go look back at the VOD to see if my resolution was okay because I have it set to 540, and 540 is not bad per se. However, um, I had my res I had my resolution scaling turned off, so it might have stretched out the image weird or crunched up the image. So I'm gonna have to take a peek at that. 